For Krima Media's quality, this is Sane Jamini. Joining me today is Minister of Water and Sanitation, Senzo Mkuno. What is your vision for the renewal of the ANC? The, the African National Congress, uh, our organization, that uh, so many South Africans uh, love for uh, the fact that it is the organization that brought our freedom mm -hmm. after the decades of struggle for liberation in the country, um, is faced with a number of challenges. The first challenge uh, we have dealt with by and large, uh, it is the challenge of image. It is the challenge of credibility. Mm -hmm. It is a challenge of caused by, by and large, corruption. For a long time, we've been uh, indicating right, but turning left mm. on this matter, not confronting it. As from August, the 20th, when President Cyril Ramaphosa released a letter to branches and telling them that uh, the ANC is uh, accused, number one, in the Zondo Commission, mm. and urging members to take... Uh, uh, to take a turn and uh, deal with internalizing the issue of corruption. In other words, dealing with it real, really, right internally, mm. and not making, an, uh, uh, making it an issue of public addresses, while internally we are not doing anything, including not doing anything about those of us who are involved in corruption. Now, what did all this mean? It meant that for the first time, we were saying, if you are involved in corruption, there's something that is going to happen to you. If there's a, an allegation against you, go to the commission, integrity commission, declare that there's something that is being said about me, and this is my version. Mm -hmm. The commission will decide whether I have to step aside or not. If they decide, yeah, you step aside, you step aside. Two, if you are charged of corruption, Unlike before, you must step aside. If you refuse, the organization will invoke uh, clause number 75. Um, it's 75, 175. Uh, a particular clause that will force you into suspension. This is being implemented. And if you are found guilty, <clears throat> you, you are shown the door. We have never taken these measures within the ANC. They were uh, left to a large extent, to theory, and uh, and so on. There are members of, of the ANC who are concerned about <clears throat> the way these measures are concerned. We will deal with those and improve on them. But as measures, you do need <clears throat> to, to take the concerns of the public and take their concerns seriously. The ANC is voted by more than, uh, is supported by more than 10 million people in the country. You can't go on exclusively uh, be concerned about the concerns of the members that are affected by step aside to the total exclusion of the concerns of your supporters about your image of being very soft on corruption. Because the ANC is not an organization that exists for its members only. It exists for supporters because we are a governing party and we're not, the, the ANC is not supported and voted for by those who are members only. It is also voted uh, by those who are supporters. This is the reality that we have to face, uh, which we have not been facing acutely. We are losing support. We are now at 97% in terms of the outcomes of elections uh, in 2019. Mm. We can't afford to lose. We've got to change our image. We've got to fight corruption inside and outside, mm. and also in government. And this is what is happening now. And we commend President Cyril Ramaphosa for having stood up and, and made sure that these are implemented. It's not something that will be uh, supported by everybody, uh, but uh, it needs to be done, and it is getting done, and it is supported. That's number one. Number two, <clears throat> we have a problem of delivery. Um, mm -hmm. As the governing part, uh, firstly, we, we, we also have renewed because people say the only thing that have been done in terms of renewing the organization or implemented since 2017 is step aside. No, it is not correct. The, the, there was a resolution 
as part of broader renewal of renewing the membership system and modernizing it. That is in force. It is being implemented. We are using that system going to the national conference, and that is an achievement. But uh, three, broadly speaking, a renewal of the ANC is a buzzword within the organization. And uh, it is at the level where everybody is concerned about it. What is it that we will concretely or we're concretely doing, mm -hmm. apart from the two that I've mentioned? But it, it must be, it must occupy uh, us up front that there are things that we need to do further mm -hmm. to renew the organization. Uh, especially the move from materialism uh, to actually a, an, an exclusive materialism mm -hmm. where only limited people in the ANC, the so-called connected and so on, are seen to be benefiting materially mm -hmm. and it's not being shared with the greater public, causing a lot of concern in the public that the ANC is merely a corruption of the few from which a few are benefiting. We need to renew the ANC from that point of view, and it is true. But let me shift. We are also seen to be very thin on, on delivery, by and large. Mm -hmm. We're not delivering on the frontline uh, uh, services like water, sanitation, housing, mm -hmm. roads, and, and all of that. Let me make an example. <clears throat> when, you, when you improve a, ro a road, for a community that does, for a village uh, or for a community whose members in the main don't have cars. When you bring electricity to the community that uh, doesn't have um, lines to, um, uh, 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 that, 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 that don't have money or, or to, to, to put electricity in their houses, mm. all of that is, not, is none of your business roads to a community who, who do not have car, the majority of whom do not have cars, none of your business. You put water to households. What is important about all these basic services is that they are no longer luxury. They are basic needs. And when these basic needs come to a community, people develop ideas, including how do I buy a car now that my road is tired? Now that there's a bridge, now that there's a school. In other words, if you bring a school to a community of people who had, didn't have access to education, they will take their children there. In other words, they simply develop ideas to get better, even via their, their children, even if they no longer qualify to go to school, but they will take advantage of those. Now, <clears throat> by and large, these services have been brought to communities. I don't want to lie. Mm -hmm. They have. But we still have a long way to do, and we could have done better than we have done. What is remaining of us is to take lessons from what we have not done well. Of course, we've done, in some cases, done well. And uh, in, ten, in some cases, done very well. Uh, but we now have to spread this skill and this ability of doing very well everywhere. And I want to believe that in the last two to three years, we've done so bad. What do we need in, in, in the ANC? We need to <clears throat> sharpen this, this focus. We need to sharpen our articulation. But we need to make sure that we have models that deliver. And the ANC must be very strong to drive, deliver, and stop generalizing. And it must pursue individual ministers and also them as a collective, make them account, mm. which were very weak on that front. And it must go on to the provinces, make each MEC and a collective thereof to deliver. And there must be targets. Mm. That includes uh, what we must do in municipalities. At the moment, uh, there's quite a lot of relaxation. You can be MEC, you can be minister, just cruise without... Uh, being monitored mm. on a month-to-month -month basis mm. by a presidency as a collective, both the president and the deputy president. And I, I'm, I, I feel very strong that we are, we are allowing some of the people uh, at different spheres of government to cruise when the ANC is being accused of mm. failing to deliver, and that must stop.